So I took a poll over on Instagram, and you guys still said, even though I have this crazy voice, that you wanted a video. Um, just so everyone knows, my voice doesn't hurt. I don't feel bad. It just sounds funny. So let's just get started. Hello everyone, my name is Bree, and welcome to Documented Journey. So as I draw, sketch, paint, all the things, um, I am just going to be chatting with you about, I don't know, life, my life in general. Um, I had asked on Instagram if there was anything else that you guys wanted to know about me, I guess, <laughs> other than art-related things, and I did get a few things, and so I thought that I would go into depth with them here. So the first topic I'm going to talk about is minimalism and I feel like this is important to start with because um, it's it doesn't define who I am but it makes it kind of explains why I am the way I am. So um, I would not say that I am a firm believer of being a minimalist but I am definitely all about being a simplest. I prefer in life to enjoy the simple things. Um, I prefer less stuff over uh, more stuff. I prefer experiences over things. And in general, my rule of thumb is if I bring something into the house, it either has to have a home or things need to leave. So that way it can replace something else's home, if that makes any sense. And I'm pretty sure most of you already knew this because I don't do a lot of product reviews on my channel. I don't do a lot of hauls. Um, if you follow uh, Facebook and all those buy-sell trade groups, you'll see that I sell a bunch of my stuff to get new covers or whatever. That's just how I am. Um, the more things that I have cluttering my environment, the more stress I feel. So this is just an important way for me to live. And I also recognize that this isn't important for everyone. So the way I live my lifestyle is not for everyone. And this is why I love this community so much because it, they're accepting of all different walks of life and all different lifestyles. So keeping on with the minimalist theme, um, the next thing was uh, beauty care and like skin care and stuff like that. I will say that <laughs> I am really lazy when it comes to all those things. I barely blow dry my hair. Uh, instead, I just throw it in a braid and call it my like fake curly hair. Um, and I just use a tint of moisturizer most days and possibly eyeliner if you catch me on a good day. But um, my eyes are actually pretty sensitive to mascaras. So if I am like wearing mascara all day long, it, it kind of makes my eyes burn. So I wish I could be awesome at makeup and wear all the things. But to be quite honest, I'm not. I'm not that person. And that's okay.
someone else had asked how I find my style or how people can find their style and I do have a whole separate video all about that and I can list it in the description box for you but I do want to stress I guess um, is practice like that is the biggest thing you practice with one tool um, if you don't give that tool a, a go you know at least give it some time to kind of feel it out and work with it and you're never really going to know if that is going to be for you or not I, I look online and I don't see very many ballpoint pen artists but I'm not here to be like everyone else and you shouldn't either at, at, in the end we're journalers and journalers are there to write their story may it be the mundane or may it be something that is exciting and an adventure you're here you're here in this journal to write a story and so um, for me I'm not only writing down some words but I'm also drawing pictures and I want to be able to tell the story how I see fit and if ballpoint pen is how I want to do it that's how I'm going to do it or if plopping watercolor or using acrylic or throwing on collage bits and a, a lot of stickers if that is your thing then just do you don't do anyone else because this book this journal it is your story it's not someone else's Another question was, where do I find inspiration? I am going to give you two things, and you can find them in the description box if you um, need to go there, but two things that I use religiously, and that is two challenges that are held over on Instagram. One is the Hobonichi Challenge, and I always find it on Mitz's Instagram page, and again, I'll leave it in the description box. And then the other one is... A challenge from Charlie or the World Watercolor Group. Again, I'll leave it in the description box. They both run challenges every month without fail. And if I am not drawing from everyday life, if I'm not drawing something that happened that day, then I go to these two challenges. I go to the date and I pick one of them. And that is exactly how I picked this koi fish because it is actually part of the Hobonichi challenge this month. So if you want to draw but don't know what to draw, go to those two challenges. My next thing that people always ask is, do I draw from memory? And for the most part, I would say no, absolutely not. I don't think that I would be bettering my skills as much if I was because Anytime I was teaching a drawing class, one of my statements that I would always say to them is, draw what you see, not what you think is there. Because your mind or your eyes um, can sometimes like not, mech, not like match up completely. And you think that it should look this way, but you're seeing that it looks this way. Just make sure that you're drawing what you see not what you think it should look like. While we're on this whole drawing thing and inspiration and all that kind of stuff, I also want to just throw in there that a lot of people compare themselves to others. I do it, you do it, I know everyone does it, like it's human nature. But I'm gonna tell you something. 
like, like I'm talking to you right here, you know, like me and you, it's just me and you. I'm going to tell you something. Not everyone is going to like my stuff. Not everyone is going to like your stuff. It's an opinion. Uh, everyone likes their own stuff, just like different people wear different clothes. You know, who cares? Who cares what they like? You throw it on Instagram and you don't get that many likes or you have a YouTube channel and you don't get that many views. You know what? It doesn't matter. Does it really matter? What matters is you're putting it out there because you wanted to share. You're putting it out there because there's someone else that might benefit from it. So don't worry about everyone else. Don't worry about what everyone else thinks because in the end, it doesn't matter. You're going to do what you want to do anyway, right? Because you like it. And there's going to people that there's going to be people that like it, and there's going to be people that don't like it. And you know what? That's okay. And if you're a beginner, then I recommend that you try things for a little bit of an extended period of time because you want to give yourself ample opportunity. But try things, copy things, draw things that other people draw. Like if you really want to learn how to draw a face. I have tons of, I have tons, I don't have tons. I have, I think, four tutorials on how to draw a face. I will list those in the description box for you. Um, but different facial expressions and things like that that you could add to your journals. But if you're not going to try, then you're not going to get any better. If you don't make mistakes, you're not going to get any better. The more things you do in life, the better you will become and the more well-rounded you'll become. The next question was, how do I stay minimal or simple with kids? Anytime you add someone else to your family, they come with more stuff. <laughs> um, one way is every time before Christmas or before a birthday or a holiday, any anytime you get gifts, we give gifts. So we go through our toys and we go through our things, even me and my husband, and we donate we figure out things that we aren't, we aren't using, we don't want anymore, and we donate them. And the way we present it to our children is we are giving them to someone that doesn't have them, that needs them. The next thing is when it is time for Christmas or a birthday, say there's um, a handful of people buying them gifts, I will ask them if they will only purchase one gift. And if they would like to spend more than just one thing, um, more money than just the one thing that they're, you know, they're getting my child or whatever, then they can donate to their college fund. It's a really cool thing nowadays because all it is is a link and you can pretty much pay with your credit card or PayPal just like you would buying a traveler's notebook. So um, I'm lucky enough that I have family and friends that pay attention to that and respect my thought process. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you found some part of it useful. And um, I hope that you are kind to me in the comments. I, I don't share a lot about me personally on here. I know that. I'm trying to get better. It is hard for me. Um, I wouldn't say that I am a shy person, but I am an introvert. So just um, sharing these uh, views is a little bit intimidating so again please be kind and be kind to each other and until next time everybody i'll see ya